The Lord be with you. And also with you. Reading of the processional gospel, this is from Matthew chapter 21. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken to the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that were followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered the Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds are saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. We're going to sing right on, right on in majesty. Lord be with you. And also with you. Everlasting God, in your endless love for the human race, you sent our Lord Jesus Christ, our nature, on our nature, and to suffer for death on the cross. In your mercy, enable us, enable us to share his obedience to your will. And in the glorious victory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you, Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he awakens, wakens my ear, to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backwards. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. 
The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint. And I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will, cont who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And would you um, continue with the reading of the psalm? I'll read the one verse and you can read the other one. Psalm 39, 9 to 16. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away from grief, my soul and body also. For my life, for my for my life, life is spent, spent with sorrow. sorrow. With sorrow. There's my years of sorrow. My strength fails because of my misery, and my bones waste away. I am I the scorn of all my adversaries, a horror, horror to my neighbors. my neighbors, an object of dread to my acquaintances, those who see me in the street flee from me. I have, I have passed, passed out of mine like one who is dead. dead. I have become, I have become like a black like vessel. vessel. For I hear the whispering of many, terror all around. As they scheme together, together, together against, against me, me as, as, they as they plot, they plot to plot take my, to take my life. life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times, my times are, in, are your in your hand. hand. Deliver, Deliver me from, me from the hand, hand of my enemies and persecutors. Your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. The second reading is from Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bid in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be, be God. God. Be God. And now we have the reading of the gospel, the um, Passion Story. So the narrator is in white, and the, all the different parts are in, in yellow, except for Jesus. Jesus' part is in kind of an orange color. Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray Jesus. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? Jesus said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to, and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, Jesus took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him, one after another, Surely not I, Lord. Jesus answered, The one who has dipped in his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as, is, as it is written of him. But woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. You have said so. 
You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until after the, that, until that day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, you, all, you will all become deserters because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to Jesus, Though all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to Jesus, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then Jesus said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, Jesus threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And Jesus said to Peter, So could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, he went away for the second time and prayed. My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again, he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then Jesus came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See the hours at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once Judas came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi. Kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and that he, would, he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled, which, it's, which say it must happen in this way? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, have you come out with swords and clubs and to arrest me as though I were abandoned? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. All this has taken place so that the scriptures of the, of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest. And going inside, Peter sat with the guards in order to see how this would end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for false testimony against Jesus, so that they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. The high priest stood up and said, have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to Jesus,
and put you under oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so, but I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your verdict? They answered, He deserves death. Then they spat in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, you Messiah. Who is it that struck you? When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. He said, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, What is that to us? Be to it yourself. Throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priest, taking the pieces of silver, said, it is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. After conferring together, they used them to buy the potter's field as a place to bury foreigners. For this reason, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. And they took the 30 pieces of silver the price of the one on whom a price had been set, on whom some of the people of Israel had set a price. And they gave him, and they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they made? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you? Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him have nothing to do with that innocent man for today i have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for barabbas and to have jesus killed the governor again said to them which of the two do you want me to release for you and they said barabbas, barabbas. pilate said to them then what should I do with Jesus, whom you call the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let, Let, him, be Let him be crucified. But when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourself. Then the people as a whole answered, His blood be on us and on our children. children. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, 
and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Serene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two bandits who were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, you, you who would destroy the temple, the temple and build it in three days, face yourself. You are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now. If he wants to, for he said, I am God's son. The band of Jews crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani. That is, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, This, this man, man is calling for Elijah. Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and save him. Come and save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were open and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tomb and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him, who were keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Truly, Truly this man, man was God's son. son. Many women were also there looking on from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee and had provided for him. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Joseph and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea, named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own tomb, which he had hewn from the rock. Then he had rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. The next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, Sir. we remember what that imposter said while he was still alive. After three days, I will rise again. Therefore, command that the tomb be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may go and steal him away and tell the people, he has been raised from the dead, and the last deception would be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You, you have, have a guard have of a guard soldiers. Of Go, Go, make it, it as secure, secure as you can. So they went with the guard and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank Praise to you, Lord Christ. Lord Christ.
Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who is present and who gives life, who calls into existence the things that we have. Amen. Amen. If you were to keep watch over sins, O Lord, who could stand? Yet with you is forgiveness, and so we confess. Gracious God, have mercy, have mercy on, us. on us. We confess, we confess that we have turned away from you knowingly and unknowingly. We have wandered in the resurrection life. We have strayed from your love for all people. Turn us back, Turn us back to you, God. God. Give, us Give us new hearts and spirit. spirit. That we may find this is pleasing to you, dwell in your house, dwell forever. In your house forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Receive good news. God turns to you in love. I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live, says our God. All your sin is forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the free and abounding gift of God's grace for you. Amen. Amen. Let's proclaim together our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, God, the Father, the Father the Almighty, the Almighty, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. And unseen. We, believe we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only, only Son of God, God eternally, eternally, eternally begotten of the Father. God, God, from God, God, from God, God, from God, 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 from true God, 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 not made, not made, of one being, of one being with God, the Father, through Him, him all things were made. For us, for, us, for, us, us, for our us, salvation, He came down, came down from, from heaven, was incarnate, was born of the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our safety, he was under conscious pilot, he suffered death, and was buried. Was buried. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, heaven, heaven and is seated at the, the right hand of the, the Father. He will come again in glory, glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. 
We believe, we believe in, in the Holy Spirit, 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 Spirt, Spirit, Spirit, the Lord, and the Lord, 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 the Lord,
Lord, in your mercy, hear us. We pray, O oh Lord, for the leaders of our world. We ask, O oh Lord, that your compassion, that your wisdom would fill their hearts and their minds, that you would give them courage, that you would surround them with good advisors and counselors, that they would seek what is good and what is just. Help them, O oh Lord, as they are faced with obstacles that seem insurmountable, to rise up, to be patient and to seek you, and to hear the responses, to hear the ways that they can respond. May the people of the earth rise up together, united, to help one another, to love one another, to care for each other. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Oh Lord, we pray for those who have lost loved ones. We ask, O oh Lord, for the family of Harry Forbeck, for Elaine, as she has lost her father recently. Surround her with your comforts and care for her, O oh Lord. May she be filled with the hope of the resurrection. We bring before you Elwood, who lost his brother this week. We ask that you would comfort him and care for him this day and for the family. Oh Lord, it's difficult in these times when loved ones die and we can't have burials as we normally would. We ask that you would comfort them, that you would give them strength, that they you would meet them in the gaps in our social lives these days. For those who are dying alone, we ask that you would give them courage. May they not be afraid. May you be with them. We ask, O oh Lord, for April and for Rick, Rick Ants who passed away this week, and we ask for the family that you would care for them. Even as Rick is away, far away, deployed, protect him, O oh Lord, as he has people in his troop who have been infected by the virus and care for April and her family. Lord, for Patty, who lost her son, and for all those, O oh Lord, who have lost loved ones recently, be the comforts. May your resurrection power be released in their lives. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who are dear to us. We lift them to you, and we ask for your comfort and your peace. We thank you for answers to prayer. We thank you that you hear all of our prayers, that you are doing miracles every moment, and that our lives are caught up in the miracles. We pray for Shirley. We pray for Barb, for Alice, for Darlene, for Vicki, for Anna, for Ed, for Joyce, for Jane, for Terry, for Antoinette, for Linda, for Abby, for Amy, for Ron, for Rick, for Marge, for Donna, for Sharon, for Bill, for George, for Lisa and Dave, for Jack, for Mary, for Tom, for Norm, for Keith and Naomi, for Carol, for Lean, for Randy, and for those that we name now silently or aloud. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Oh Lord, we pray for David, for his work, that you would um, provide for him, care for him. The things that are challenging, we ask, oh Lord, that, that you would work out, that you would help him to find what he needs. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray for Paul's sister, Karen, oh Lord, surround her with your mercy this day. Protect her, watch over her, give her health, and be her God, her hope, in this time. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray, O oh Lord, for those in our community who are diagnosed with COVID-19. We pray for Ashley, a student at Gettysburg. Lord, we ask that you would care for them, that you would surround them and fill them with the hope of resurrection, of your presence, of the goodness that you have waiting for them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for Barb's nephew, Mickey McGuire, who works in housekeeping. 
and we ask for the Schaefer and his family. We ask that you would protect him and, and the housekeepers, his, his colleagues, O oh Lord, as they are working and they are cleaning in the areas where people are ill. Even as they clean, they are putting themselves at risk. Protect them, O oh Lord, and surround them with your mercy. Protect their families and hold them together at this time when they are apart. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for Danny Carr, a local EMT sent to New York City. Many are traveling to New York City at this time. We pray for Danny that you would protect him in his travels, that he would be a light and a comfort to those around, that you would protect him from harm and provide his needs at this time. May the people who receive him to work with him be encouraged by those who are coming to give them aid at this time. Lord, for those who are overwhelmed with the great, great need, especially in our big cities, we ask, O oh Lord, for your mercy to come and protect those who are on their way. Lord, in your mercy. Your prayer. Your prayer. We pray, O oh Lord, for um, Joyce and for all who are suffering emotionally during this time. We pray for Cousin Quentin, still in the hospital, recovering from burns, unable to see his family at this time. He has experienced incredible loss, loss of loved ones who, who died in the fire. He's unable to see his family at this time. Calm him, O Lord, as he is seeking to recover on a long journey. Give him strength, encourage him, O Lord, and quickly bring the day when he can be reunited with family. Lord, in your mercy. Your prayer. Your prayer. Lord, we pray for our emergency response teams, even our team here at the church who have been taking help to those in need in our community. We thank you for their gifts. We ask that you would um, care for them as tomorrow the Easter baskets, the Easter dinners go out. We pray for those who are receiving these baskets, that they will be encouraged, that they will find your love, that their needs will be provided. May they find nourishment and peace in this gift. Lord, in your mercy. Your prayer. prayer. And Lord, those who are at great risk at this time are those who are lonely, those who are homeless, and those who are lonely, but those who are homeless who have no place to live. And some have been um, left stranded and homeless as a result of transportation closing. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would be their home, that you would protect them, that you would give them shelter, that you would care for them and be their God. Lord, we entrust them to you, knowing that you are their Father, that you love them more than we will ever understand. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Oh Lord, you are good. We can come to you freely, and we thank you that you hear all of our prayers. When we have our mics off and we're all praying at the same time, it's chaotic and we can't sort it out. But you can, and you know our hearts, you know our thoughts. So we lift ourselves to you and commend ourselves in this world to your care. And we thank you, O Lord, that you are a God of hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us, and our, forgive trespasses, us our trespasses, as we forgive, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the kingdom the power, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Amen. So, Kiri, I um, missed the music before. Can you play for us now? This is our offertory. Remember to send your tithe to the church, please. <laughs> Thanks.
it's wonderful to share this time with you. sharing that wonderful gift for us. Um, Jerusalem, the Holy, the Holy City is, is the piece that was played there. I haven't heard about Jerusalem these days, but Jerusalem, the Holy City is a place that also um, has a virus that was hit. I haven't heard specific reports, but think about that in, in the land where Jesus was. Um, and that's for offertory. Uh, well, there's a few people have been commenting about mailing in offering, and that's what we would encourage you to do. We're going to send information about um, offerings. We're going to set up ways to give electronically. And you can also mail in your checks. And that's actually preferable than dropping them off in person because we want to support the um, restrictions of not being out in the streets. So if you leave that in your mailbox with the little flag up, then it will be delivered to our church building. Um, by the way, the church is not closed. The office building might be, but the church is not closed. And the bishop has been asking us, please be careful about the way you speak. Don't say that church is closed. It's not. The building is not the church. The people are. And the church is, is active, very, very active. And our building is happens to be open too. Tomorrow we're going to be um, giving out the baskets of food to people for Easter. And um, I think that there's uh, turkeys that will be going out along with gift cards. So thank you for all who are doing that faithfully. Hams, correction, ham. Ham. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. um, um thank you. Church you haven't organized the help or anything? I think that we have the help that we need for that. We all have that taken care of. Thank you. Okay. The scenery that you see behind me is what is out my window of my bedroom and yeah. it's changing. It's bursting with a lot of colors. Spring is on the way and the resurrection is on the way. We are going through this week um, of Holy Week. It's the week of, of Jesus' death and it corresponds with the death that many people are. It's, it's in response to the death that many people in our nation are experiencing. So maybe... Um, you know, we'll have an online celebration for Easter, also Good Friday. For uh, Monday, Thursday, I would encourage you to tune in to what the bishop has prepared. So we won't have a Monday, Thursday service. I've just been thinking about how to do that. So much of it is physical. The washing of feet, the sharing of bread and wine, the um, stripping of the altar are all the things that are physical. Um, and there are things that the bishop has set up with this. 
So we can join and be reminded that we're part of the larger church for Monday, Thursday, and then for Good Friday, we'll have a service here at 645 on Zoom, and then Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday, we'll have the first Sunday in, that I know of in our nation's history where we will be meeting, not gathered together in one building, but um, all across the world on, online. And then when we do get to get together in person, we'll have another great celebration and Easter celebration. Um, but for now, we are people of God going through this week, which is a very difficult week for our nation. And we ask for God's blessing for all of you. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Holy God, speaking, spoken, and inspiring, bless you, unbind you, and send you in love and in peace. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn is You Are Mine. Thank you, Wes and Kiri. That is absolutely a wonderful gift. Um, we've had some distortion of the sound. I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, there is a huge demand going on. I, I called a couple of people from our congregation a week ago, and I got a message, all circuits are full. Um, call back later. So the telephones are full. 
we've had a funny connection sometimes online with people. We, um, Deb was trying to fill out a form for unemployment and um, they had 13,000 normal applicants that day, that morning, in less than half a day, they had over 130,000. Um, and so we've just been seeing in different ways that, that there's impact on, on uh, communication. And maybe that's a distortion, I'm not sure. But what do we do when we have distortion? We worship. It doesn't stop us. God's peace be with you all. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thank you for your sharing and reading and participating in worship. Have a great week. Thank God you. God too. Bless. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you all. We continue to collect uh, prayer requests, so you can send in Thank prayer requests. And every every Thank evening this week, we'll have a service at 6.45. will be just a prayer time on Monday through... Um, Thursday and on Friday we'll have a Good Friday service. So join us for prayer 645. God bless. I so, time, so want to give hugs, 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 hugs. Bye everyone. Love y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.